Well, I think we came out and played with a lot of confidence, number one, and that, that goes into the preparation uh, of the staff along with uh, the players buying into what we were doing all preseason. And, uh, and that was great to see, and I think we started fast on, on both sides of the football, which was great. We were in shape. I thought we played uh, physical up front, which we really wanted to do. And, uh, you know, all those things put together uh, was a complete 60-minute game for us. So we, we were happy with that. I feel like it went very well. Both sides of the football were really excited. Um, everybody had the mentality that we wanted to come out and play fast, play hard, get the first win under our belt. Everybody's been talking about how we have all these high expectations for this year. And the way the game was flowing, like from the first half at halftime, we talked about how we feel like we, we could be doing a little bit more to like show that we're like better than we were last year and how like we're going to meet the expectations for this year that we set for ourselves. And we came out in the second half and played, I feel like, the way that we should have played in the first half, and we played a really good game overall. You know, for us right now, I think there's a couple things. I mean, defensively, I'd like to see us tackle a little bit better at the point of attack. Um, offensively, too, I think, uh, you know, probably up front, uh, we need to shore up a couple things with our offensive line um, that, you know, we were probably one or two blocks away from breaking a couple runs um, in that first and second quarter, and we really need to do that. that that'll help uh, with the momentum swing. And uh, the third thing is, you know, special teams. I don't think we did a great job on special teams on Saturday. And we have to make a very big jump this week um, against McDaniel. They have some good things going on on special teams. Um, they presented problems with us in the past. So that's an area we really need to focus uh, going into the McDaniel week. Personally, some plays that stand out were um, when we were backed up in the end zone and uh, we ran, it was a deep pass over the middle. I threw the ball and I got uh, I got hit pretty hard on that play, but um, my coach told me that I did a really good job of staying in there and had a lot of poise in the pocket. And also um, the big play that I hit Liam Nolan on the post on the backside. It was uh, it was third down, and I just I just missed the pass, wide open pass to Eli Remond on the sidelines, the wheel route, and um, I was uh, I was. Killing myself on that one, but the next play I hit, uh, I hit Liam Nolan on the post on the backside, which was a really big play. Sure. I think uh, you know a big play for us is you know we throw an interception um, and um, you know we come back and, and get a tip ball and Brendan Downey picks the ball off. So uh, that was great for us to be able to stop that momentum swing right there. And then Jimmy McCarthy, I think his interception came at a, at a crucial time also, and we won some field position. Um, that we weren't able to do, um, you know, through special teams. So those two plays, I think, were very critical for us um, to just kind of stop the bleeding and, and get the ball back to our offense and give them another opportunity on the field. What I'm supposed to do on that coverage is just keep everything in front of me. So I, I would make jokes during the week, and when I moved to defense, like everybody was like, "Oh, you're playing defense now. You're not going to be catching catching the ball." And I'm like, "No, I'm still going to be catching the ball, even though I'm on defense. It's just going to be going the other way." But I I was just doing what I was supposed to on that play, and in the right position, playing the right technique that the coaches had me in, and what they told me like we should do for that, and. I saw the ball go up in the air, and I just reacted on the ball, and it came right to me. Number one, Mike Hayes uh, really managed the game well, and uh, you know that was great to see. Uh, this was his first really meaningful game since high school, so it was good to see Mike be so controlled and so poised um, and be able to distribute the ball, whether it be in the running game or, or throwing the ball and doing things like that. I think uh, Will McLaughlin had a very big game for us. We moved him from an outside receiver to an inside receiver, and, uh, and that paid off blocking-wise and, and catching the ball there. Um, you know, I think Chris played well, Chris Negron, I think Luke Godson was a great compliment to that. And, and uh, you know, Ed D'Elia came in at the end of the game and, and showed us a little something um, running the ball too. So th that was great that we had a stable running backs that could do some things there. Well, I mean, it feels, it feels awesome. I, I tell you, um, having a year and a half off of football, I'm not really getting any live action. Um, was, I was a little bit nervous going into it because I haven't had a live snap in about a year and a half. So, um, I mean, it just feels great getting back out there, just 
Awesome. Yeah, the first one. I think John Snyder uh, really controlled the line of scrimmage for us for the whole day, um, which was really good. Um, Chuka on a I thought came up big with two batted balls um, at crucial times and drives, and one led to an interception. Um, and then in the back, I think consistently we played well back there. Um, you know, all five guys that were playing in the secondary, but it was great to see Jimmy um, have such a big game coming from uh, the offensive side of the ball during camp and uh, make such a big impact in, in uh, not only having a big interception, but tackling very well um, at the point of attack. And that, that was really good. Um, the biggest difference for me is that you got to have like a different mentality to play defense rather than offense. Offense, you got to it's more technical. You need to concentrate on your job. You need to worry about like more so like what you're doing to help the offense score. Whereas on defense, like it's still more technical. Like you got to worry about like what you're doing specifically, but you got to have that fierce mentality where you're the one hitting instead of the one being hit and bringing people to the ground and stopping them from scoring. So there's a lot that goes into it. Another one next week, you just got to Stay confident. Stay confident. We got to bring the momentum from this game into the next game. Um, we know McDaniel just got a win against a good opponent, Catholic, and um, we just really just got to keep the confidence up. I think we're a pretty confident team so far. I think, again, come out and, and play fast right away and, and not sit back and wait for something to happen, really react and make some things happen. Uh, we need to take care of the football. We won the turnover battle. Um, this past Saturday, and that's something that we need to do, and we need to create some more takeaways on defense. And if we can do those things, um, you know, that'll give us a, a big chance for success on Saturday.